Hey, fatty. This is the one meal a day water chugging weight loss hack. Let's begin. Right off the bat, you should be getting in minimum, minimum, a gallon of water a day, minimum, minimum. Okay, if you're having a coffee or some zero calorie drink, I don't even count that. Minimum a gallon of water, you fat peg. Okay, you're going to eat less. You're going to stay full. Now, the water chugging weight loss hack with one meal a day dieting. Right before you eat your meal. Okay, you're eating your meal in the evening. That's the most sustainable. Right before you eat your meal, you chug a liter of water. A liter of water minimum. Minimum. When you drink that liter of water before your meal, you ain't going to eat shit. Especially if your meal's salty. Okay, your calorie count's going to come way down. And then you're just going to want some more water after you eat. Make sure the meal's got snake juice salts on it. Pounding in that liter of water is going to make you eat next to nothing when you eat that meal a day. This is how you're going to get ripped. Not just lose weight. This is how you're going to get ripped. This is how you're naturally going to run a low calorie count without even trying. The other place you want to be adamant about pounding in a liter minimum is right when you wake up. Right when you wake up. My routine right now to get shredded is exactly this. I get up. I drink a liter of water minimum. Okay, I put some baking soda in it, some potassium, some snake juice salts. Okay, usually that first shot of water, I'll have it hot. Okay, it's going to be good for your digestion to pound that through right in the morning. Then some days, I'll have a black coffee. Okay, I'll have a black coffee. Then I'll carry on with my day. Then maybe midday, I might have a green tea. It's fine. Okay, once you get to your goal weight, you can play with it. You don't have to use stimulants. You don't have to. Okay, when I'm cutting, I like to use them. It's easy because there's no hunger. Then once you're lean, you can do all sorts of things. If I'm going to do a big cardio day, maybe I'm asked to go on a bike ride or something, I'll just pound a pile of sugar in the morning before the ride or before a big cardio session. Once I'm ripped. When I'm cutting, this works perfect. I'm just giving full transparency of what I'm doing right now to cut the last few pounds that I want to cut. Liter of water in the morning minimum. Baking soda, snake juice. I'll have a large black coffee. A large black coffee, especially on the training days. I won't have that every day. Because I'm going to be training fast and because it's a one meal a day diet. My training schedule is two workouts a week. Two day a week full body. Two day a week full body. Okay, minimum two days rest between the workouts. Maximum two workouts a week. That works perfect for cutting. Because I can run a huge deficit, tons of recovery. Okay, it's impossible to overtrain because you get so much rest. That will work excellent for beginners and advanced lifters. The five days that I'm not doing any resistance training, which right now I'm doing mostly body weight. The other five days I'll do some cardio. Maybe I'll do some hit cardio for some heart rate work. Okay, I might even throw that in on the actual training days at the tail end of the workout. On those days, I'll go swimming. I'll go to the sauna. Okay, mainly I'm just living life. It's very simple cutting strategy. Then in the middle part of the day, I'm pounding water. Okay, I'm way over a gallon a day. Way over. And when I drink water, I don't drink water like a fat pussy. I don't sip water. I'm getting in a liter minimum every time I take a drink. Okay, if I have a fountain at the swimming pool, I'm literally logging my gulps. For me, about 50 gulps is a liter on that fountain. About 50. I just know my body now. I know when my gut starts getting nice and full of water that I'm well over a liter. Later in the morning, a pile of water in the day, snake juice during the day. Okay, snake juice. Okay, if you don't have snake juice packets, make your own snake juice. In one of your liters of water, put a teaspoon of potassium chloride, a teaspoon of sodium chloride. Okay, there's your snake juice, a pile of fresh water on the side. Minimum a gallon a day of water, you fat pigs. And then before I eat my meal, I pound a liter of water minimum. A liter of water minimum. And that's allowing me to hold on to 15, 1600 calories a day easy right now. Easy. 
Okay, that's Shred City numbers. You hold numbers like that, you're going to Shred City. Okay, anything under 2,000 for me, I'm cutting. Then obviously cutting is different than maintaining. Whatever it takes to get ripped. And then once you're ripped, you just reverse diet a little bit. That's when you can adjust your eating routine a little bit. Because once you're ripped, you can do all sorts of shit, really. Cutting and staying there is different. Cutting weight is different than maintaining. Okay, what works good for me cutting will be slightly different than what I do when I maintain. When I'm maintaining, I'll be very light on the stimulants. But when I'm cutting, if that's what it takes to get lean, fine. Who cares? Who gives a shit? If you're using some zero calorie pop, Coke Zero, fine. Who gives a shit? I sleep amazing on this. Excellent energy. I'm not getting overtrained because of two-day-a-week full body. My diet is low calorie because I'm pounding that water in before I eat. I'm going into that meal at night with a fairly low hunger signal. That allows me to eat light. In that meal, I eat intuitively. Intuitive OMAD. Intuitive one meal a day. Okay, some days I might eat way more volume, more meat, maybe a bit more fat. Other days I might go super lean with way more carbs. I just go by feel. I just go by feel. And I log my weight before I drink the liter of water before I eat the one meal at night. That's the weight that I take. That might not be my lightest weight on the day. Sometimes I get big weight drops when I come out of that sauna. But it's going to be the most consistent weigh-in. When I weigh in right before I pound that liter of water before I eat the meal. That liter of water before you eat is crucial to not overeating on OMAD. This is how you get ripped on OMAD. Until next time. Get in that gallon of water a day minimum, you fat peg.